kind of like the Charlie Chaplin type look. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, once again. See? Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you mean by once again? Well, didn't he cause, you know, disruption or not disruption? What's the word? Controversial, maybe? That's a good word. I don't know. I think he's definitely controversial. I have a sense of, like, in what way he was controversial or, like, why people didn't like or wanted to ban his book sometimes. I think he wasn't filtered properly. <laughs> if, if, is, that the, is that a good word? <laughs> <laughs> like he is, that's what I mean by not being filtered properly. He just said things that, that weren't, you know, of the norm or people mm. other, otherwise people thought was, hey, man, that was kind of rude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like rude. I feel like I definitely think of him as rude. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. And I feel like it's, I don't know, he's, I think he offended people like, in his time, but also I yeah. think he still continues to offend people today. What's the most memorable conversation that you've ever had about James Joyce or his work? To me, I think when I think about James Joyce, mm -hmm. I didn't know nothing, about, never heard the name ever. <laughs> okay. You didn't know nothing about him. And then when you brought it up, my scholar daughter brought it up, I started talking about it at, at, and everything, everything else got shoved aside. It was just James Joyce is the only thing that existed. I started to learn more, started to, after a while, whether I wanted to or not, it just started, okay, who is this James Joyce? What <laughs> sort of thing? Sort of like how, am I allowed to say it? Oh, how the Harry Potter series in the beginning, we stayed away, stayed away. And then all of a sudden we kind of got lured into the, the thing and <laughs> got excited about it. started, you know, watching more and more. Well, with this case, when my daughter started talking more and more about James Joyce and bringing up the name Ulysses, again, knowing zero, less <laughs> than zero, never heard these names before. <laughs> now all of a sudden there I am, uh, knowing that, hey, okay, James Joyce is an author that wrote about this. And it just kind of slowly became more and more interesting. The name Ulysses, like, to me, it's like, what the hell does that mean? Mm -hmm. But now, when I think about it, all these uh, you know, conversations later, it's, you know, about an event that happened mm -hmm. over a 24-hour period in time, mm -hmm. which was actually a true story. Right. So yeah. I just thought, oh, hey, that's actually kind of interesting. So, uh, again, the event, uh, like in Bloomsday. Yes. I, I heard the name, but knew nothing about it. I like this sort of like triangle that you drew between sort of like Joyce's works and then Joyce as a person and then the events sort of like Bloomsday that we hold around him. I don't know. I hadn't thought about that before, but I think those are definitely sort of like like a, a trinity of things that like <laughs> make Joyce as a whole. Yeah. I'm aware that there's that, this is the triangle is about one book, Ulysses. That's really the only ones that I think I'm truly aware, uh, aware of. Okay. Uh, so of could you, sort of mm -hmm. so just to like make it, no. Ha, so have you like read or had read to you like any of Joyce's work at all? I think it was parts of things were, uh, of Ulysses, mm -hmm. and uh, I was trying to think of another one, was something dead, I think, I forget. Mm, the dead? Was kind of maybe discussed, or may maybe parts of it were discussed, but not read to me, or I okay. certainly haven't read them myself. Interesting. No, that's that cool. Looks just I too, that's... It, the, book, the books themselves are too overwhelming just to look at, period. <laughs> Oh, I mean, the dead's not too big, but yeah, <laughs> I think Ulysses, and it's interesting that Ulysses has, like, stuck out as the one. What about Ulysses do you think sort of sticks out as making it, like, Joyce's text that you know of, even having not read of any of his work? I, I'm going to say that it kind of got interesting because it was like a, almost like a scavenger hunt sort of thing. It's like mm -hmm. a, you know, like it, it, it is 
it would be kind of in some ways i don't really have any plans to go to ireland but it would be kind of cool in some ways to do a scavenger hunt where you, you you're reading the book and you're following the you know the events of the day and stuff like that uh i find those types of things you know to be kind of fun yeah, that's cool. Hey, Exciting. that's what people do on Blooms a day if they happen to be in Dublin. So. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I did. I wouldn't have known that before. Do you conceive of Joyce in that same way? Like, do you see him as very like culturally prestigious and like holding this? You know what I mean? Or is it different for you? I, I, I think, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. when you have a great great writers mm -hmm. i think that they are great writers are, are controversial mm -hmm. right because they're writing something that others haven't really thought of yet mm -hmm. or said out loud so that they're writing something so afterwards years later mm -hmm. people will bring them up and look at them and then look at what they said then and mm -hmm. where the progression is now and then mm -hmm. they go Hey, okay. I, I see where they were going with this, okay. right? Maybe they were ahead of their time. Maybe they were ahead of their time, mm -hmm. or maybe they were, you know, sort of thing. Uh, okay. That's kind of what, where I think of them. Yeah. Okay. Guys like you, cool. uh, Joyce, nice. might have been just a little bit ahead of his time, or something, or nobody truly appreciated. Appreciate okay. His uh, his writings until. Until he was gone because he you know he just wrote it how he how he saw it right or how mm -hmm. he saw things right <laughs> no, I agree. whether whether it was right whether it's truly right or not maybe at the time it, no 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 you're all wrong but years later <laughs> turns out that hey you know what <laughs> there was some merit to this <laughs> yeah i'm just that's that's with me never reading one of his books just from learning from what you've told me sort of thing is there something that you wanted to talk about or say about Joyce or your experiences with him that like you haven't had the opportunity to say yet? Well, just as uh, just as he uh his the only vision I have of James Joyce is his top hat his round glasses walking with a cane and a, <laughs> some kind of a I guess it's a sport coat or something like that and that's you know, kind of like the Charlie Chaplin type look. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's about it. I like that's it. A, that's I like how it. my vision of him is. And maybe whether that's good or bad, that's probably the only vision that I need to have in my mind of him. I don't mm. need to see one of him in a, you know, smoking jacket or one of him sitting by the beach in his swimsuit uh, no, no, no. <laughs> just when I think of James Joyce that's what I hope sir are there any questions that you wanted to ask me over all of the years since that this goes back you started looking into James Joyce or getting interested in him that's got to go back now what five six years oh I think 2018 four years four mm -hmm. years good almost four years so my, I guess, I guess you've thrown, it's like you've thrown your whole body and soul into this, mm. this guy, this author and his writings. Has anything ever changed about him? Like, do you remember, like, I, I keep going back and maybe I shouldn't always bring it up, but I just have such great memories of when you were growing up and us watching the whole Harry Potter series mm. and how we as a family actually threw ourselves into that series, right? Mm -hmm. Growing up with them, you became an adult. It's like you kind of emerged Harry Potter aside a little bit, not totally, but aside, mm -hmm. and emerged yourself into Joyce and his writings. Okay, for now, four years later and all through university are you now a direction a different book a different author that you now say okay that's enough of Joyce <laughs> oh my god or has he still got plenty more to yeah well I think for me it's hmm. 
I, I don't feel myself like becoming uninterested in Joyce or anything, but I also think the way that my understanding of what it means to be interested in a book has changed. Because I think, you know, like with Harry Potter, for example, when we were reading at that level of more, you know, like, child, like children's books, I think it was very much, I am interested yeah, in- Yeah, and growing book. with them. Yeah. And so yeah. I think it was a lot about like how you could personally connect to the book. And then, uh, you know what I mean? Almost like th th you saw the book as an object a lot more that I like this book and sort of that's it. And once I change my idea or whatever, like my opinion of the book will change or my interest in the book will change. But I don't know. I feel like now, like you said, having experienced Joyce, like through my education. Not totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was just I was just thinking about my question here. Is I guess mm -hmm. we went as far as we could with the Harry Potter series, and it mm -hmm. ended. Now with James Joyce, and I and this is what I, I kind of see in you. Mm -hmm. You you went to New York to see the dead, mm -hmm. but you, I guess you one of your goals is to go to Bloomsday to to mm -hmm. uh, Ireland, right, and try to see how that goes. Do you feel that? What if you did that? If you if you get to go and do that, mm -hmm. after that's done, mm -hmm. would that then kind of be like the end, the fifth, seventh movie? Like when that was the end? Or is mm -hmm. there more for James Joyce? Or is there, or do you feel okay now? I've I've seen it. I've seen the dead. I've been to Bloomsday. Mm -hmm. I've. Is there more? Or would that be? a moment in time where you would now start looking at a different author and a different mm -hmm. from another time. Yeah. I mean, I don't think, uh, I think it's impossible to read like just Joyce or even focus just on Joyce. And I do find my work already sort of expanding to like people who were writing like at the same time as Nam, or maybe people who were writing sort of like about similar like content, like, you know what I mean? Similar topics that he did. Um, but I don't think that that, it doesn't feel like a stepping away from Joyce. It more just feels like an expanding of my understanding of what was around him, if that makes sense. Because I think like when we were reading Harry Potter, I think I was in, like I had an understanding of reading as sort of like this finite thing of like, I have a hundred pages to read. Once I read those hundred pages, the book is done and I've completed my experience with it. Um, and what I've learned, and I think this is true of every book, but I learned it with Joyce, so it just applies to Joyce a little more for me, but I see books a lot more as like conversation partners that are like continuously changing and like if you approach them with a different perspective or at a different time in your life or with, you know, like with after somebody else has like explained something differently to you, you'll read that book in a different way. So now I don't know, you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like okay, there's just like this checklist of things that I have to do to like achieve Joyce and like the Joyce experience. You said when you, when I first got into Joyce, it was like, you know, very <laughs> all consuming. And so I kind of pushed everything else to like very much focus in on him. But I think now that I'm having more and more interest, it's more like drawing everything together and seeing how everything speaks to each other. So that. So even if I do eventually sort of center on something else, I think he'll still be there like in the periphery as part of the conversation. Right. Yeah. Because it was real life too, right? Yeah. No, that's true. But I think it's when, when you compare I was just gonna say when you compare the, the, the difference between a child's the children's books, Fairy mm -hmm. Potter, which was, you know fun it was a fantasy kind of thing right like mm -hmm. sort of thing whereas what James Joyce did and that sort of stuff actually was real life it was stuff that did happen mm -hmm. at one time right yeah. so that might be something because I, I you know I, I can remember you growing up now saying hey I look back at these books or we watch a tv program or something like that and you're like now I know what you, why you and mom were laughing at this sort of stuff because you mm -hmm. guys didn't get it later. Yeah. But, but now, as you've gotten older, now you kind of like heard from other people's perspective of Joyce 
and and you're reading it more than once. I'm reading his stuff more than once. You you've you know didn't see something the first time around, sort of thing, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't notice that in his writing because it was, I guess, to scholar type people, it, it that was one of the more is complicated work <laughs> work for that. Like yeah, his his writings, right? Mm -hmm. Like it was. It's no longer uh, a children's book. It was, you know, it was more adult content. Mm -hmm. We started off this conversation with the the question, like, what is the most memorable conversation that you've had about Joyce? So I want to sort of rounded out like come full circle and my last question to you will be uh what will you remember most about the conversation that we just had and was there anything like frustrating or challenging or exciting about it and it's okay to oh, say no. no it was boring <laughs> it was not boring I, I i enjoy our conversations very much i just i wish sometimes that i was more knowledgeable i guess or of these things so that i can talk more but i think in some ways even though i've never read ulysses or the dead mm -hmm. because you and i have had many a conversations whether we're on our way to go get a coffee or sub sandwich or you know <laughs> things like this we have had our chats about you know these things i think that uh yeah it's that's where 100% of my knowledge of this Jane Joyce character <laughs> and, and Ulysses, that's 100% where it comes from. So if it wasn't for you, I never would have heard that name. Any of those names, the dead, Ulysses, James Joyce, Leopold Bloom, Bloom's Day, I know I've heard that before, mm -hmm. but I'd, from where or why, I don't know probably just came up in some school thing that I didn't really pay attention to just like just like any old actor or great actor or artist or per person they always have to have that image that sticks in people's minds